Hi everyone, this is Jenny from By Jenny Designs, and today I want to show you how to work up this cute egg pot holder. For this pattern, you're going to need about 125 to 135 yards of a white medium weight cotton yarn, and then you'll just need about 25 yards of a yellow for the yoke. Let's see the colors I have here. This is gold by Peaches and Cream. And then this is just white. You're also going to need a size H or five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle, and three stitch markers. Before we get started, I thought I would show you how cute the toast and the egg pot holders look together. And then I also thought you might actually like to have a measurement of the finished sizes. So we'll go ahead and measure the toast here. That is about seven and three quarters by about eight and a quarter. And then the egg is about eight and a half by eight and a half. Okay, now I will get this stuff out of the way and we will go ahead and get started. Okay, we can go ahead and get started now. To begin this pattern, you're going to need to make a magic circle. If you don't know how to make one, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna place your working yarn in your left hand, set your thumb on top of the yarn, take your end, wrap it around your thumb, placing it behind the working yarn. Then you just need to insert your hook through the hole here, yarn over and grab the working yarn, pull through, and then we're going to chain one. And now we need to work nine single crochet into the circle. Once you have your nine, you can go ahead and pull your circle tight. And then we're not gonna be joining, we're gonna be working in the round. So you can go ahead and grab your stitch marker and we're just gonna place it into the last stitch. And we're gonna do this for every row. Just like that. So now for round two, we're going to start by working a single crochet and a half double crochet into the first stitch here. And now we're going to work two half double crochet into each stitch around. When you get to the end, you should have 18 stitches around. And now you just want to move your stitch marker to your new last stitch here. Oop. 
pull this tight again. You could also sew this um, in right now if you wanted to. Okay, for round three, we're going to work a half double crochet. And then we're going to work two half double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So work one half double crochet, then work two half double crochet into the next stitch. When you get to the end, you should have 27 stitches. I'm going to go ahead and count. Okay, I have my 27. So we're just gonna move the stitch marker. For round four, we are going to be half double crocheting into two stitches. And then you're going to work two half double crochet into the next stitch. So that again is half double crochet into two, and then two half double crochet into the next. I'm going to have you go ahead and work your way around and then I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I finished up row four here and you should have 36 stitches around. I counted before I turned the camera back on so you're going to want to make sure that you have 36. Just going to move my stitch marker. Okay, now for row five, and I noticed I've been calling it a row and a round. It's hard to remember to keep calling it a round, but we all know that we're working in the round and I'm probably going to keep calling it a row. Okay, so for row or round five, we're going to half double crochet into three stitches and then we're going to work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And we're also going to repeat that around. So half double crochet into three, and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. Go ahead and continue around and I will meet up with you at the end. All right, I've completed row five. Just moving my stitch marker. For this row, your stitch count should be 45. For row six, we're going to work a half double crochet into four stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to also repeat that around again. Go ahead and work your way to the end and then I'll meet up with you. I'm here at the end of row six. 
For row six, your stitch count should be 54. Okay, for row seven, we're going to be working a half double crochet into five and then two half double crochet. Go ahead and repeat that around and then I'll see you at the end of the row. Just finished up row seven and for row seven you should have 63 stitches. For row eight, we're going to start by working two half double crochet into the first stitch. Then we're going to half double crochet into 10. So just work one half double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. Okay, now once you have your 10, we're going to work a half double crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch. In the next stitch we're going to work a double crochet and a half double crochet. And now we're going to work a half double crochet into the next 10 stitches. Alright, once you have those 10, work a half double crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, work two double crochet in the next stitch. And then work a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to half double crochet into the next 10 stitches. Okay, after you have those 10, go ahead and work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to work one half double crochet into the next 10.
All right, now half double crochet and double crochet into the next stitch. After you have that, go ahead and work two double crochet into the next stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet and a half double crochet. Okay, after you have that, you're just going to work one half double crochet until you get to the last stitch here, and that should be 12 stitches. Okay, you can move your stitch marker. Your stitch count for this row should be 74. I'm going to go ahead and count because it's pretty important that you have the right number of stitches. Okay, I have my 74. Okay, now for row 9, we're going to start this row with 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet into the next 13 stitches. After you have your 13, go ahead and work two half double crochet. Then work a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then work two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, now we're going to half double crochet in 13. Okay, after you have your 13, work two half double crochet, one half double crochet, and two half double crochet.
Okay, now we're going to half double crochet into the next 25. Okay, after you have your 25, you're going to work two half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet. And now you just need to half double crochet all the way to the end, and that should be 13 stitches. Here's my last one. I'm going to go ahead and pause and do a stitch count. Your stitch count for row 9 here should be 81. Okay, I have my 81, so I'm just moving my stitch marker here. Okay, for row 10, we're going to work one half double crochet into 16 stitches. Alright, I have my 16. Now you're going to work a half double crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Work two double crochet in the next stitch. Work a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch. Now 
Now we're going to half double crochet into the next 15 stitches. Okay, after you have your 15, you're going to work a half double crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to work two double crochet in the next. Then you're going to work a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch. So half double and a double. Two double crochet. and a double and a half. Okay, now we're going to half double crochet into the next 27. I'm just going to double check that I got 27 here. Let's see, two, four. Two, four, six, seven. Yep. Okay, so after you have your 27, you're going to work a half double crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And then a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and now we're going to half double crochet to the end and it should be 14 half double crochet. There's my last one. 
So your stitch count for this row should be 90. I'm going to do the same as I did last row. I'm going to go ahead and pause and count my stitches and then I'll come right back here to you. Okay, I have my 90. Now we can move on to row 11. For this row, we're going to work a half double crochet into eight and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that around. So I can go ahead and let you work up this row and then I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. So that again is half double crochet into eight and then two half double crochet into the next. I just completed row 11 here and your stitch count for row 11 should be 100. And now our last row is row 12. For row 12 we're going to half double crochet into 20 Okay, there's 20. Now we're going to half double crochet and double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to work two double crochet into the next three stitches. After you have those six double crochet, go ahead and work a double crochet and a half double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to half double crochet into 20. Okay, I just need to turn my blinds here really quick. Okay, after you have those 20, you're going to work two half double crochet into each of the next three.
Okay, now we're going to half double crochet into 10. After you have your 10, work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that two more times. So work 10 half double crochet and then two in one stitch and then another 10 and then two in the next stitch. Go ahead and work on that and I'll just meet up with you right when I complete that. Okay, after you've worked that up, you're going to work two half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now we're going to half double crochet into the next 15. After you've worked up your 15, you should have two stitches open here. You're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Then I'm going to remove my stitch marker before. Okay, now loosely slip stitch into the last stitch here, just like that. And then go ahead and place your stitch marker back. And we're going to leave that in there. You can go ahead and fasten off now. And now you're going to need to make two of these. So if this is the first one you've completed, go ahead and start the video over so you can make your second one. You do not want to make this pot holder with just one layer. If this is your second pot holder, you can go ahead and stay right here in the video and we will move on. Okay, after you have both of your whites to your eggs, you can go ahead and set these aside for a minute and then grab your yellow yarn. Okay, we're going to be using a magic circle again. Go ahead and chain one. And now you're going to work nine single crochet into the circle. Go ahead and pull your circle tight after you have your nine single crochet. And now we're going to grab another stitch marker, place it in your last stitch. And now for row two, we're going to work a single crochet and a half double crochet into your first stitch that you made. Just 
So single crochet and half double crochet. After you have that, go ahead and work two half double crochet into each remaining stitch around. Just have two more here. And with a stitch marker. Now your stitch count for row two should be 18. Now for row three, we're going to half double crochet and then work two half double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to repeat that around, so half double and then two half double, half double, two half double. Go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. When you complete row three, you should have 27 stitches around. Now for row four, we're going to half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then work two half double crochet in the next. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So you can go ahead and work that up and then I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I finished working up row four. For row four, you should have 36 stitches around and there's no need to place your stitch marker. So just to finish up this egg yolk, we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch. And then you can go ahead and fasten off and make sure you leave an end long enough to sew your yolk onto one of the whites. I've sewn all my ends in except for this long one right here. We're going to use this to sew the yoke onto one of the whites, so you can go ahead and thread your needle. And then you're just going to place it in about the middle, and you're just going to sew the yoke to the white, going in and out, uh, making sure you sew through each stitch all the way around. I'll show you a couple stitches here, but then I'm going to let you work on it and then I'll meet up with you after mine is sewn on also. So just like that, super easy. You work your way all the way around and then I'll see you when we're done sewing our yolks on and we will crochet the whites together and I'll show you how to make a loop for hanging. Okay, I finished sewing my yoke on and now I'm just sewing in this end here. Now that all the ends are sewn in, all that's left to do is to crochet these two eggs together. So grab your white yarn and make a slip knot. And then you'll see here that I have the stitch markers lined up. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to join with a slip stitch working through both eggs. So you're going to insert your hook under these two loops here and then insert your hook under these two. These are both of the spaces that the stitch markers are in. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through to make your slip stitch. And now you can chain one and we can remove these stitch markers so they're out of the way. And now we just need to single crochet all the way around the egg. You just need to make sure that you're working through the stitches on both eggs at the same time. So work a single crochet here where your chain one is. And then move on to the next set of stitches here. I'm going to leave you to go ahead and work your way all the way around and then I'll meet up with you at the end. I am just about finished here. Okay, once you've worked your way around, go ahead and join with a slip stitch. To make the hanger, we're going to chain eight. And then you're just going to join with a slip stitch to the same space down here. Chain one and turn. And then you're just going to work 14 single crochet over this chain of eight here. You might need to slide them over a little. Okay, now you're just going to join with a slip stitch to the very first single crochet you made. And now you can fasten off. Now all that's left to do is to sew in these ends here. I like to first knot them together. And then I just take my end and I work it through the loop. This is going to help make your loop less flimsy. So just go back a couple times. So now I'm going to go back this way. Okay. Go ahead and do the same with the other end. And you actually, you don't have to sew that one into the loop if you don't want. You can easily sew it in down here. 
and then your egg pot holder will be complete. I have all of the ends sewn in now, so here's the finished egg. Thank you so much everyone for watching and crocheting along with me.